HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all. Why don't more infant formula companies use organic grass fed whole milk instead of skim? Why don't more infant formula companies use the latest breast milk science? Why don't more infant formula companies run their own clinical trials? Why don't more infant formula companies use more of the proteins found in breast milk? Why don't more infant formula companies have their own factories instead of outsourcing their manufacturing? We wondered the same thing. So we made Byheart a better formula for formula. Learn more at byheart.com. Welcome to the Having It All podcast, the show about what it takes to live an abundant, loving life. My name is Matthew Bivens, and each week I'm helping you get out of your head so that you can truly have it all. Let's do it. What is going on, everybody? Matthew Bivens here, and welcome to another awesome, fun, just super cool episode of the Having It All podcast. I am, well, I'm standing up right now. Uh, And that's because I got a a new podcast set up. And so I feel like I have just a different different amount of energy going on. And hopefully it sounds a little bit better. My intention was to upgrade some equipment, make some changes because the stuff I was using before, the the quality was kind of 50-50. And uh, so I wanted to make sure that, you know, you all are constantly hearing crisp, clean episodes. And so that's what I'm doing. And you know, I'm I'm also I'm also pretty jazzed up because just I don't know, I'm feeling that life energy today. I'm feeling that abundance for sure. And you know, I wanted to share a little bit about a recent client experience that I had, which, you know, tons of 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 beautiful lessons and and opportunities for growth and all sorts of great stuff, but um there's two things that stuck out in particular from this client uh client call that I had that I want to share with you. And I guess lastly, I'm I'm also pumped because this is like episode 90 something. I think this is 92, maybe 93. And um yeah, when I started this podcast, I said I my 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 big goal was to publish 100 episodes. So I'm closing in. I'm, you know, I'm in the the the, the final 10 and uh, the show is going to continue after 100. Um it's definitely going to continue. I I love producing the show. It's it's just fulfilling and beautiful on a lot of levels. Um, but, you know, when I set this, when I set out, I don't even know when I started this thing early last year, that was my goal, 100 episodes. And I gave myself sort of the freedom for this podcast to evolve and shift throughout that 100 episodes. And so where it is today is very different than where it started out, at least in terms of the style of episode. But, you know, 100 plus, here we come. So, Let's jump into the topic, again, inspired by that client call that I had. And I first just want to give a little bit of background on, you know, what I do. Um, a lot of people will, will message me and they'll ask me, like, you know, what do you do? What are your services and stuff like that? So um, since this particular episode was inspired by client interaction, I figure it's appropriate. So my background is in marketing. My passion is in podcasting. I have merged the two. And what I do is I help individuals, entrepreneurs, brands, businesses. I help them expand their reach, grow their authority, and identify and connect with their ideal client, their target audience through podcasting. So I absolutely love podcasting. Duh, right? And my background is in marketing. I've been doing marketing uh, since 2010. So what I've done is I've just created this this unique 
service that I offer to people um, where, you know, individuals who, you know, it might be an author or maybe you're a coach or, or just an expert, you know, you're, you're a subject matter expert, you're an authority in your industry and you want to be able to expand your reach. You want to, to just reach so many more people than you currently are right now. You want to reach a global audience. You know, you want to connect with folks all over the place. You want your message to just boom, go right into their their earbuds and you want to identify and connect with potential clients. Well, I help people do that through podcasting. And that kind of looks different for, for different people that I'm engaging with. Um, and with this particular client, you know, we, we, we have our, our awesome client relationship. And one of the probably the biggest thing that I do for this client is accountability, right? So I, I help this. It's, a, it's another marketing agency, two individuals. I help make sure that they stay on track with doing what they need to do to grow the business and making sure that they are accomplishing and hitting their goals, their micro goals, you know, the daily, weekly goals, but also their macro goals. And so we hop on a call once a week and we talk. You know, I have a format, a process, a structure that I take them through, but a lot of it is, is conversing and, and just um, me helping to them to kind of put some context around things, help them with ideas and blah, 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 all that stuff. So we were in a call last Thursday. That's when we do all of our calls. And we're just flowing through the normal process of stuff. And, you know, they've been working on attracting some new clients, attracting some higher value clients. And when we, we got into some updates, you know, they're giving me updates of what went down in the past week. They said, you know, well, our, our currently highest, um, our, our highest revenue client has increased their engagement with us. And they essentially increased the engagement by 50%. So they went from like a $10,000 a month client to a $15,000 a month client. HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together, following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50HavingItAll and use code 50HavingItAll for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50HavingItAll and use code 50HavingItAll. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandsLots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. And... You know, my my client is just is kind of telling me this, and and uh, you know, he says really just casually, and you know, that was we we put that intention out there that we we wanted to increase our monthly revenue by this amount, and we were able to do it, and so you know, it's really great. And now I'm thinking about you know who do we need to kind of add to the team to help make sure we can service this client. I'm thinking about the bandwidth of my team's hours, and he just goes on and on and on, and. I let him finish. I let him continue talking. And when he was complete, I was like, hey, man, let's go back a little bit. Let's rewind because what you just told me is pretty significant. And I want to go back because we need to revisit this. What you shared with me is that you set an intention. You had a goal for what you wanted to do with the agency. And you didn't just meet the goal, but you exceeded it. And you did it effortlessly. The client came to you and said, hey, you guys have been doing such a great job. We want to increase our engagement. So you accomplished more than your goal. You did it with little to no effort. And now you get to continue flowing with your business. And it's just, you know, it's, 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 it's happy days going on right now with the agency. 
but you shared it in such a way that you just kind of glossed right over it. Like it was nothing, you know, and and the great thing happened, but now you're focused on, you know, all the stuff that comes with now needing to fulfill it. And so the 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 point of this for you all, for you listening, is that you know, I shared with him, let's take a minute to celebrate this win. Like, let's take a minute to celebrate the fact that, you know, this client values you so much. They value you so much and you've been able to drive and generate such value for them that they want to pay you more. They want to increase what they're paying you by 50%. That's huge. That's big whether or not that was your goal, whether or not that was an intention. It's even bigger because you set that as an intention. You wrote that down. You said, this is the goal I want to reach. You put that out in the universe and you reached that goal bigger and faster than you had intended. That is huge. That is worth celebrating. And so for you listening, the reason why I bring that up, the reason why it kind of stuck with me and I wanted to to jump on an episode and talk about it was because we do this a lot, myself included. We might set a goal, maybe consciously or just subconsciously. We may not even know that it's an actual goal goal that we wanted to achieve, but we achieve something and we're like, oh my gosh, I achieved it. And then we just let it go by. And then you get fixated on all the consequences of that achievement. In my client's case, achieving his goal meant that he now had to figure out the the hours that, you know, the additional hours he needs from his team. And he had to start thinking about the onboard process and he had to start thinking about scheduling. And in, in our lives, you know, we might achieve some goal whether it's a you know a, a tangible sort of like I want to have this type of thing goal let me make this money so that I can go on this trip whatever it is we we achieve some goal and then we get caught up in all the minutia and all the stuff and all the consequences of achieving that goal and we don't take that opportunity to recognize just how powerful we are in the fact that holy cow we hit this goal like I set my sights on something and I I hit it and especially in American culture, we just move at such a fast pace and everything is next. What's next? What's next? And what's next? What do I got to do? Who do I got to see? What do I got to talk about? Like everything is just zipping and flying by us that it's so, so easy to miss the chance to say, holy crap, I did that. Like I achieved that. I hit my goal. I was able to manifest the thing I wanted to manifest. I was able to overcome that fear that I had. I was able to lose that weight. Like we get so fixated on the next thing that we don't take opportunity to become present and appreciate where we've come and how far we've come. And so that was a big moment that I wanted to share with my client. And I did, you know, I I stopped the conversation. We backed up and the three of us just recognized how big it was that they hit that goal. And it, and it kind of gave me an opportunity to rep something that I don't do all the time. You know what I mean? Like I said, episode 100 is coming up on this podcast. And I want to make sure that when I get there, I just take a minute and I reflect on the past you know, year and a half of, of scheduling interviews, talking to folks, publishing episodes, editing and editing and editing and editing and editing, all the stuff. I want to take a minute to just like, man, you hit that goal. That's dope. That's amazing. And so I want you to be able to walk away from this episode with that. Do you know this? You have my permission to stop and to appreciate, to pat yourself on the back. Like it's not selfish to do that. You know, it's not inflating your ego to just say, damn, I did a great job. Man, wow, I'm a badass. I'm awesome. Man, that's, yeah. Like you can do that. You you have you could do that because I think when you, when when you stop you know and you appreciate those things you get greater perspective for what you have accomplished and I think it fuels you up you know it's like if you're if you set a goal of like climbing you know Mount Kilimanjaro you just don't hit that thing in one in one bound you know in one day you you go to like through stages and you get to a stage and you got to just like shake it off and be like wow look at how far I came that's incredible. And then you go and you go to the next stage and you're like, damn, I just did stage two. Wow. Like I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was. And then you keep, keep on hiking and you go to stage three. You're like, oh my goodness. I never thought I could do that. Like that's how you want to approach this stuff. Give yourself a pat on the back. 
So that's the first thing that happened in the call. Now we're continuing our call. You know, we're talking about this this new client that they have coming on in the agency, and everybody. You know, I'm asking them the question because I understand. I've been a part of this agency, and I've I've worked with them for a while, and I and I understand sort of the assets that they have and the resources that they have, the people that they have that who could potentially service this client. And what I'm seeing is I'm like, it looks like bringing on this new client you guys are going to be expected to do more now. Now, your workload just went up a little bit. And they're like, yeah, yeah, you know, that is the case. And in the immediate, in the immediacy right now, our workload does go up a little bit. And then hopefully it gets thinned out later on down the road. So I'm asking them, what is required of you is going up. What are you doing to boost your capacity as well? Because your performance expectations are increasing. You now need to deliver more. You have another client to service. You have more meetings to do. You have more legwork to, to, to execute on. That's going up. What are you doing to make sure that your ability to produce is going up at the same rate? And it had them stumped for half a minute. And I'm so happy for them, in this case, that you know we have these types of calls, that I have these type of relationship with them, because what was in their their future without this conversation was something that I've experienced, was something that I can imagine you experience, and it's something that just is it, like plagues our society as a whole, and it's this idea of our performance does not increase at the same rate as our performance capacity, and now. It's easier, it's put in easier terms if you think of it like the golden egg and the golden goose. Now, this idea is from Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I've talked about it tons on this show, and this is the concept of the P-PC balance. Golden egg, golden goose. So P is your performance. That's the thing that you're producing, right? In this case, it's the golden eggs. The PC is your performance capacity, your ability to actually perform. In this case, that's the goose, So here's the thing. Here's what the agency was doing. Here's what I've done. Here's what you've probably done as well. You try to create and produce more golden eggs, right? Your your P is going up. The amount of golden eggs that you want to produce goes up, but your ability to produce those eggs, your performance capacity doesn't go up at the same rate. What the hell do you think happens in that case? Burnout happens. Stress happens. Dis-ease happens. You're juggling too many things at once. Something is going to come crashing down. So what I was doing with my client is I was making sure that they were increasing their performance capacity at the same rate that they're increasing their performance. They need to make sure that they have the ability to service this client as they take on more and more work. And for them, it could look like bringing on more teammates, bringing on more people into the company. However, I understand that for them, this is unique to this client. That's not something that they're really interested in right now. So they need to make sure that they're taking care of themselves. They need to make sure that they're putting deposits into their own tank, making sure there's gasoline in that tank so that the engine can run. Because how often do we need to get somewhere far, but there's no gas in our tank? And we end up trying to force it. We end up trying to grind We end up trying to hustle, doing all these things that are talked about so freely and just celebrated so much. But at the end of the day, who suffers? We do. Your performance suffers. Your health suffers. Your relationships suffer. And so this was, I think, the big, big takeaway and the big aha from this conversation that I was having with my client. It's just making sure that as you are expected to perform at a higher capacity, you got more stuff you got to crank out, you've got more deadlines, you've got more, more, and more, you have to make sure that your ability to do it goes up as well. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Ch-ch-chumba. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. 
With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. And it looked like a lot of things. It can look like a whole lot of things. So, you know, in this podcast, I like to keep things in terms of frameworks. You know, we have the, the having it all framework, A-L-L, abundant loving life. We've got all that great stuff. In this context, just for this small conversation we're having about performance and performance capacity, a concrete takeaway for you is you can think of how are you showing up or what are you doing to make deposits in these five different areas, physically, mentally, spiritually, socially, and emotionally. The more deposits you make in those five areas, the more your tank goes up. That's your capacity going up. Your performance capacity goes up as you make deposits in your physical tank. Physical tank deposits look like exercise. It looks like diet. It looks like drinking 10 ounces of water the first thing you do when you wake up. It looks like taking 10 minutes to meditate or do some yoga, or stretch before you jump on the computer or start answering emails. Spiritual capacity, your spiritual tank, that looks like maybe you enjoy meditating, maybe you enjoy prayer, whatever it is. Emotional capacity, that's like some detox stuff, like emotional detox, like letting go of some of the things that are are happening in the day. That could be journaling, who knows, whatever it is. If you are constantly making deposits, spiritually, emotionally, socially, physically, mentally, constantly making deposits in those areas, then your performance capacity is just inching up. And that means you can take on more. You can take on more things. When I talk to people who, you know, they don't necessarily know all the things that I'm doing in my daily life, and when I start describing all these different things that I've got my hands in, you know, multiple podcasts, uh, a bunch of different clients, working with organizations in different capacities. Like, as I start describing a lot of this stuff, people are, might ask me, like, that's a lot. Like, how do you do so much? Or I'd get burned out or all this stuff. And I say, you know, I've worked very intently and very intentionally, excuse me, intentionally on my performance capacity. Because there's a lot of things that I, I, I like to do. You know, I get fulfillment out of flexing a lot of different muscles from creator to entrepreneur to coach to husband to father. I really enjoy those things and I want to be able to show up powerfully in all those areas. So for the past, I don't even know how many years, four or five something years, I've been very, very intentional about making those deposits. You know, deposits in my spiritual tank, deposits in my emotional tank, deposits in my physical tank and so on so that my performance capacity can go up, so that I'm able to perform at a high level across the board. That's the type of thing that when I'm talking to my client, it's like, we want, you want to make sure like your goal is to perform at a high level. I get that. You've already committed yourself to perform at a high level. So your performance has gone up. You got to produce more gold and eggs. So what are you doing to make sure that you actually have the energy the stamina, the drive to produce those eggs without burning out. Huge caveat. You could underline that, bold it, put it in italics without burning out. Because anybody can just push themselves more. Anybody can just grind and, and skip sleep and skip meals and stay up and do the meetings. And that you, anybody can do that. But as you do that, that's coming up from a place of force. Force requires resistance. Resistance ultimately, inevitably wins. So at some point, if you're forcing it, if you don't truly have the performance capacity, but you're trying to perform at a high level and you're forcing it to get there, at some point, you're going to burn out. At some point, the resistance will win. And at some point, some form of crash happens. I'm not saying that a crash is going to look like a specific thing, but some type of crash is going to happen. So for you listening, 
for my clients, for myself. Let's make sure that as you are increasing your performance, you're also increasing your performance capacity. Let's make sure that as more and more is, ex- is, a, is expected of you, you are making more and more deposits into your tank, into your love tank, into your spiritual tank, to make sure that you have the energy to be able to fulfill all those amazing roles and perform all those amazing duties that you want to. Because I know if you're listening to this show, then you've got some big, big visions, big dreams. And I understand through personal experience that one way to help get there is to make sure that you have a full tank. So those were the two big takeaways from my client conversation. Taking the appropriate amount of time to celebrate wins and making sure that your performance capacity meets or exceeds your performance. Those two big things. So I'd love to hear from you on what you thought of this episode. Maybe something resonates with you. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you've got more context or more ideas to add to it. I welcome it all. Maybe you just want to say, hey, what's up? You can reach me in two ways. The first way, matthewbivens.com. Go to the contact form. Leave me a note. That contact form goes right to the top of my inbox. The second way, you can email me personally. My personal email, mattcbivens at gmail.com. I appreciate everybody who emailed me last week. Uh, I most likely will do an episode off of a couple of the emails. They were awesome. Just people you know, being really vulnerable and transparent and, and bold. And so I, I really like to, uh, I want to acknowledge um, them. I'm thinking that I'm going to probably do an episode on those. So stay tuned. We're just inching closer to that episode 100. So I don't know what I'm going to do for episode 100. I know a lot of podcasts do like a big recap or something. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just make it like any other episode. Who knows? But uh, one thing I am, I'm putting out there to you all, to you listening, um, I've been wanting to really get ahead and just, you know, not even get ahead, honestly. I have I have slipped a few times over the past year and a half and haven't published consistently. And one thing I did when I first started this show is I came out the gate with like, 15 episodes already done. So I had a few months of content already completed before ever launching the show. And since then, I've never had more than a handful. So what I am putting out there right now, my intention is to record every day, record every single day for the next 30 days. Now, I don't know whether the recording is going to end up on the podcast. It might be a two-minute thing. It might be a 30-minute thing might be on this new equipment. It might be on my phone. But what I want to do is record every day for 30 days. And I'm sharing it with you all so that you can hold me accountable. So thank you for that. I am incredibly grateful for your time. I'm incredibly grateful for your ears and your energy and just tuning in and listening week after week. I'm grateful and and humbled. And thank you so much. My name is Matthew Bivens, and here is to you having it all. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.